With Eden Zero about halfway over, everyone's wondering what Mashima's gonna do next as far as a new manga. I was wondering the same thing, so I asked you guys what you think. And honestly, I think we already know what Mashima's gonna do. One of the first comments on my community tab talks about the afterword from Volume 4. Mashima talks about how he's used to doing sword and magic stories like Fairy Tale and Rave Master. But when he finished Fairy Tale, he wanted to do something sci-fi because, well, nobody's really doing sci-fi. And that's how we got Eden Zero. Now obviously Eden Zero is more of a science fantasy, so it's not like it's completely different from what Mashima usually does. But there are some important differences. In fact, as much as Mashima has fun doing the sci-fi elements, he openly admits that doing scenes like space battles takes a lot more work than he's used to. It takes more staff members and dedicated panels to do, and it's just a lot more work than face-to-face -face fights. That's why a lot of people, including this person, think Mashima's next story will be more in line with what he's used to doing. Which is definitely the safe guess, because you've got 100 years quest in Gate of Nightmares. Mashima's just more comfortable doing fantasy manga, so it only makes sense that this is what he would do next. And that's what I thought until I scrolled down and read this comment on Fighting Force Mixture. Now, to be honest, I had no idea what Fighting Force Mixture was until I looked it up. Then I found out it was one of Mashima's many bizarre one-shots. I also found out it was in the anthology that's been sitting on my shelf and collecting dust for like, I don't know, a year. So I read it and it was a lot of fun. If you haven't read Fighting Force Mixture, which is also called Combo Squad Mixture in my translation, it's a Sentai, not Hentai, Sentai story about the three lowest ranked rangers. They form a new team and raise their rank by doing what you would pretty much expect. They work on new uniforms, new poses, and they work in a little fan service. It's a fun read and definitely worth checking out if you love Sentai. Obviously, it's not as polished because it's just a one-shot, but it has a lot of potential. In fact, Mashima even admits that he had originally intended for this to be a serialized story. So it wouldn't be that crazy for Mashima to turn around and be like, you know what, I think I'm going to turn this into my next big series. And honestly, after I spend some time thinking about it, it actually makes perfect sense. I know it seems like kind of a curveball, but hear me out. Eden Zero is published in Weekly Shonen Magazine. You know what else is published in Weekly Shonen Magazine? Ranger Reject. If you read Ranger Reject, then you probably know where I'm going with this. But if you don't, then just listen. Ranger Reject is kind of similar to Fighting Force Mixture because it's a spin on the Sentai genre. But it's also completely different. In Ranger Reject, the story is told from the bad guy's point of view. That obviously allows for a darker story because now the good guys are the bad guys and the bad guys are the good guys. Now, while Ranger Reject isn't the most popular series out right now, it's still really popular. The sales aren't that great, but the people who read it love it. Personally, I read it and I think it's awesome. But here's what I'm getting at. Ranger Reject shows us that there is an interest in Sentai. And aside from Ranger Reject, there's really nothing like it out right now. So what if Weekly Shonen Magazine had Mashima write his Fighting Force story so that they could have two Sentai manga? That way, Mashima could flesh out one of his one-shots like he did with Fairy Tale, and Weekly Shonen Magazine can capitalize on this niche. Now, I'm sure you have some reservations about this move, but before I address them, I just want to give a quick shout out to this comment of the week from my last video. If you'd like me to share your comment in the next video, then make sure to share your thoughts on Mashima's next manga down below. But back to what I was saying. I'm sure your immediate reaction is like, okay, it would be cool, but why would they put two Sentai in the same magazine? Which is a valid argument because, yeah, it could lead to Mashima killing Ranger Reject. Plus, it does seem like it'd be kind of redundant. But you have to look at how these magazines really work. If you look at Weekly Shonen Jump, it's got a bunch of battle shonen. Within that, you have similar series like Black Clover and Mashal, where the main character is someone who doesn't have magic in a world where everyone has magic. Then, in the big picture of Jump, you have tons of Exorcist stories. There's JJK, there's Doran Dororan, if you count Jump Plus, there's Don to Don. Then there's Jump Square, which has a bunch of Exorcist manga. And then when you look at Weekly Shonen Magazine, there's several Battle Shonen and even two rom-coms. All I'm trying to say is it's not that uncommon for a magazine to have a bunch of manga in the same genre. It's actually better to do it this way because if one does really well, then that could lead to success for the other. I mean, I'm sure tons of people who read everything in Jump now started out with that one series they liked before they even knew what Shonen Jump was. So if they do this in Weekly Shonen Magazine, then not only would it allow them to grab a hold on Sentai as a niche before it blows up, but it would also lead Mashima fans to check out Ranger Reject. 
The other reason this would make so much sense is because it'd be the perfect mix of everything Mashima has done so far, including Eden Zero. If you prefer the fantasy aspects of Mashima's stories, then maybe a Sentai story wouldn't be the best thing for you. But something like Fighting Force Mixture could still work in all the same kinds of powers and transformations that you see in something like Fairy Tale or Rave Master. In fact, one of the reasons I feel like Mashima has been wanting to do this for a while is because of Arsenal. If you look at Arsenal, it's something right out of a Sentai manga. I mean, he literally looks like one of the Power Rangers. He's got the way he talks like a hero, does all of the poses, and has a bunch of crazy names for his attacks. So you don't even need to make a leap of imagination with this stuff, because we can already see what it looks like and that it works out really well. But then, Mashima could also mix in some of the sci-fi elements in Eden Zero without having to do all the crazy stuff like big space battles. He could have this sci-fi world and still get to draw mostly one-on-one -on -one fights. And even ignoring the sci-fi stuff, Mashima could write a darker story like Eden Zero. Part of what makes Eden Zero so special as a Mashima story is that it's willing to go places and show things that you might not have seen in something like Fairy Tale. And if Mashima does like Fighting Force Mixture and does a sort of spin on the Sentai tropes, then he could continue this trend. Of course, it'd be different from what you see in Ranger Reject, but it'd probably be somewhat similar. It'd be a fun story that's also full of violence and heavy themes. So this is why, at least to me, Mashima is probably going to end up making his next big manga a Sentai. It's something he's already got a foundation for and is clearly interested in. It's something that would allow him to work with the story elements that he's more comfortable with. And it's something that would allow him to incorporate the experience he's gained from Eden Zero. So be on the lookout in the next couple of years, because I'm telling you right now, Weekly Shonen Magazine is going to build on this and Hiro Mashima is going to write your next favorite Sentai. And that's it for this discussion. Hopefully you enjoyed what I had to say because honestly, I really hope I'm right. If you did, then let me know by liking the video. Now, if you're looking for a discussion on what's going on right now with Eden Zero, then you definitely gotta check out my video on censorship in season two. In that video, I discuss a few of the concerns from fans that could make or break the next season. You can watch that video in the playlist linked right here. And if you'd like other anime and manga discussions like this one, then make sure to subscribe and follow along with each week's video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon.